the brownie plan problem. Today we looked at finding a part of a part. So in this case, two-thirds of three-fourths of a pan of brownies. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start out with an area model so we can make sense of really what is this asking? What does two-thirds of three-fourths really mean? Three-fourths is the amount of the pan that has brownies in it. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to divide our pan into four equal sections. Now three of those four parts have brownies in them. So we are going to use our highlighter or the lighter colored pencil and we are going to highlight those three sections that represent the brownies that are currently in the pan. So you can see that the pan is not full. We have removed some of the brownies. What's left is three-fourths of this entire brownie pan. Next we're going to look at how do we make sense of what two-thirds of this amount is. So we're going to now subdivide our brownie pan in the opposite direction of what we just did. We're looking to divide it into two of three parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide it into three equal parts, my entire pan here, and I want two of those three parts. So there's a third, and here is a third. Now we have a lot of shading going on here, but what I want you to notice is the, that we have now divided this twice, once into fourths, and then this way into thirds. So we have created, you can see here, 12 equal size pieces. Now of those 12 equal size pieces, how many of them have shading in, or double shading I should say? How many of these pieces have double shading? So here the shading overlaps, that's one piece. Here the shading overlaps, that's two, three, four, five, six of these have double shading. Six out of the 12 parts. So what does that tell us? When we look at the brownie pan, the highlighting shows us the amount of brownies that are first in the pan. And the double shading represents the amount of brownies, or two-thirds of this, that our customer is going to come and purchase. So how do we write a number sentence? We say two-thirds of three-fourths of the pan is equal to six in other words, if I'm at a fundraiser and I want to buy brownies, two-thirds of the amount of brownies that are still left in the pan, and there were three-fourths of the brownies left in the pan, I would be asking for six-twelfths of the brownies. Now, let's look at this next one, which is three-fourths of two-thirds. So in this case, I have two-thirds of a pan of brownies. So I'm going to make three sections here, and I'm going to highlight two of them. So when I walk up to the counter to get my brownies, some of the brownies are already gone, but there's two-thirds left, and I would like to purchase three-fourths of them. So now I have to divide this, again, the other way horizontally. First I'm going to divide it in half, and then in half again. That will help me make even size pieces. That's very important. Of those four pieces that I just created here, I want three of them. There's one, two, and three. So now you can see that I have a total of 12 pieces that represent the whole pan, but I'm going to be purchasing one, two, three, four, five, six of those pieces. My number sentence here is, three-fourths of two-thirds equals six-twelfths. So why do we show multiplication this way? Because we're trying to visualize why it makes sense that we would take our numerators and multiply them together and take our denominators and multiply those together. We need to make sense of this algorithm before we start using it. So what do you notice here? 
if you look at each of these brownie pans, and the pans are the same size, they are both divided into 12 equal size pieces. So each pan has 12 equal size pieces. So whether I purchase two-thirds of three-fourths of a pan or three-fourths of two-thirds of a pan, I'm getting the exact same amount. Here's the amount I'm purchasing here, and here's the amount that I'm purchasing here. It is the same amount. So what is the relationship between two-thirds of three-fourths and three-fourths of two-thirds? You'll notice you see those fractions repeat. They're just in a different order. So two-thirds of three-fourths is really two times three-fourths. And three-fourths of two-thirds is three-fourths times two-thirds. We're multiplying. We know these are equivalent. So that tells us that multiplication is what we call commutative. And that is a property that allows us, it doesn't matter what order we multiply in, we will get the same answer.